Hi and good day. My name is Tan Guo Zhi and the topic I'm about to present is the Park Level Analysis. Park Level Analysis is very commonly used in fluid mechanics and dynamics. Park Level Analysis is also used for water distribution network and hydraulic design and etc. The factor that might affect the network distribution included the size, the arrangement and the diameter of the pipe. To solve the pressure head and flow rate included Hardy cross linear theory and Newton reset method. Hardy cross method was the first method used for back network analysis. It was found by a structural engineering professor of University of Illinois called Hardy cross. The general relationship between the flow rate and the head loss is given by HF is equal to K multiply Q to the power of N, where the K is the head loss per unit flow and N is the flow exponent. Lastly, the Spech and hazen william equation is compatible with Hardy cross method. Darcy Westbech is named after Henry Darcy and Julius Westbech, whereas hazen william is named after Ellen Hazen and Gardner Sweatwood William. One of the advantages of Hazen William equation, which the C is not a function of Reynolds number, and the disadvantages is it can only apply for water solution. The viscosity and the temperature of the water does not take into account when using the equation above. Assalamu alaikum, I am Siti Nabila Shamsuddin, and now I will explain for loop 1. This is diagram of pipe network for loop 1. Loop 1 consists of 4 pipes. Diameter and length already given in question. So now we have to assume Q. Next, we need to find K and HF using the formula given. As we can see for trial 1, firstly we need to find HF. For example, pipe 3. From previous slide, we already find K for pipe 3 which is 2240337.705. Then we times with Q, 0 0.003. Then the answer we got is 48.193. Then we sub the data to the formula. As we know, N is 1.85. Then 1.85 we times with KQ, power 1.85 minus 1. So power of 0.85. Then we apply all the calculation to each pipe. Then we sum all the data to find the Q. For trial 1, we got negative 0 0.003208. For trial 2, we got negative 0 0.0028422. So we repeat several times until the DQs are quite small. For trial 3, we got negative 0 0.00. 28470 for trial 4 -0 -0 -1 -4 -2 -6 -3 -1. and for the last trial which is trial 5 we got -0.0003329 so this is the final result for loop 1 so that's all from me thank you Hi, my name is Pang Ziwei and my metric number is AF200157. I'm going to present the pipe number analysis for loop 2. There are four pipes included in loop 2 which are pipe 3, 5, 6 and 7. The diameter and length are given from the task. Diameter is in inch and length is in meter. First, we convert the diameter from inch to meter and by using the hedge billion method, we can find HF and K value for every pipe. After finding HF and K value, we assume the discharge value Q for each pipe. After that, find the DQ1 value with the formula HF divided by N times KQ power of N minus 1. And we add DQ1 value with assume Q1 value and start trial 2 with Q2. And for the trial 1, we get the DQ1 value is negative 0.001326. For trial 2, we get the DQ2 value is negative 0.001914. For trial 3, we get the DQ3 value is negative 0.001959. For trial 4, we get the DQ4 value negative 0.002230. 
0.082. And last for trial 5, we get the DQ5 value 0.004719. After we get the DQ, DQ value is 0 0.000 something, means that we can stop the trial and we, we can get our final discharge Q. This is our final discharge Q for, for loop 2 and we can also know its flow direction. That's all for my presentation about loop 2. Thank you. Selamat sejahtera doktor, my name is Tam Yi Mei, number metric is AF200151. Now I will present how to calculate and adjust the discharge of flow in loop 3 of the pipe network system. We are the group 4 and we need to use the hazen William method to solve it. The inlet discharge which is at point L is 90 liter per second while those 3 outlet discharge are 30 liter per second which are at point A, point F and point K in loop 1, loop 2, loop 3 and loop 6. This is the diagram of our pipe network system. First, we assume a discharge Q and its direction in each pipe of the loop. We consider the clockwise flow to be positive. Next, all the data like diameter, length and the friction factor is given. So we just need to calculate the K and HF which the heat loss of the fluid flow in a table. We use the equation which HF equal to K times Q to the power of N where the K is equal to 10.67 times length divided by the coefficient of the pipe times the diameter to the power of 4.87. The coefficient we use is cast iron pipe which is equal to 100 and the N is equal to 1.85. Only then we start our trial 1. At first we list all the Q and calculate the HF. The sign of the discharge is determined by the rotation of flow as we assumed just now. For example, the discharge in pipe is opposite to the rotation. Thus, we will put a negative sign at the Q1 for pipe 9. After that, we sum up all the HF and N times K times Q to the power of N minus 1. Then, divide it, we will get the, the delta Q. After that, we will calculate the next discharge by using the discharge before plus the delta Q before. If the pipe is also common member among two loops, then we will calculate the next discharge by using the discharge before plus the delta Q before and minus the delta Q before of the loop that uh, common member of the loop. Like the pipe 7, we use HF plus delta Q in try 1 and minus the delta Q try 1 in loop 2. Finally, we will get that the answer delta Q1 is negative 0.018929 and using the same calculation to do try 2 to try 5 until we get the differences is small enough for all loop. Then we will do the correction to the discharge of each member of the loop. Thus, in trial 2, we will find out that the delta Q2 is negative 0.003292 and in trial 3 is negative 0.00613353 and in trial 4 is negative 0.003404083 and in trial 5 is negative 0.001825. So in conclusion, the result for loop 3 is figured out in this table. By using the Q5 plus the delta Q5, same if the same members among two loops, so we minus the delta Q of that same member of the loop, so we can get the final discharge of the loop 3. That's all for me, thank you. I would like to introduce the calculation of loop 6. This is the pipe network diagram, and this is the initial discharge of loop 6. In this project, we're using the equation of Hazel William to determine the head losses. Cast iron pipe is used and the CH is equal to 100. First, we calculate the value of K. By using this equation, the value of K for all pipe is determined. Next is the calculation of DQ. The table shows the first trial of calculation. By using this equation, DQ1 is calculated. After we get the DQ1, we can also get Q2. The calculation is repeat until trial 5. The Q final is determined. So this is the final discharge of loop 6. In the conclusion, Hardy Cross is very suitable and efficient to find large pipe network. 
Such correcting method is needed to avoid any mathematical error due to the initial guess. Hazard William coefficient C will differ if the material used in the pipe is different. For cast iron, the Hazard William coefficient C is 100. The final discharge of each pipe can be calculated easily by using Hardy cross method.